Hey you guys, Andy with Handy Outdoors today coming to you with another video. I'm going to do a two part video here. Um, number one will be fire science. That's what I'm going to title this video is basic fire science. Uh, we have two major things in the fire service that can kill you faster than anything. And why I'm bringing it out, even for, you know, people that ain't going to be firemen, that ain't been ever thought about being firemen, is because these two things, I've seen it time and time again. I've seen people go into house fires after a dog, cat, loved one, and they've not been, they don't know the danger. Uh, you get into a house filled with smoke, you know, number one, you can't see. Number two, that's carbon monoxide and poisonous gases. It, it will kill you fast. Uh, number three, smoke will burn. I know that sounds crazy, but I got an experiment just to show you that smoke itself will burn. Uh, all smoke is is particles that are unburned and they'll go up in the air and if they're dense enough if the fire's rocking good enough it will release it'll do what they call a dirty burn it won't burn all the content and the fire and the uh, smoke will go up against the seal and roll back and it will not it won't be cleanly burnt so whenever the fire gets so hot and intense it'll actually catch that smoke on fire and it'll rip throughout the house. Uh, sometimes, if the conditions are right, it'll cause an explosion in the house. The next thing is a backdraft. You know, you come home and the smoke, uh, you see smoke coming out from underneath the doors and you see smoke coming out the eaves and everything. And it's a, uh, like a yellowish, uh, we call it a laminar smoke. It's a smoke that ain't moving very fast. It's a smoke that's just, you know what I mean? you can tell and then you kind of see it go out and then come back. Just like in the movie Backdraft, I know some of you viewers that work with me and everything, y'all's gonna make fun of me on account of this, but I really wanna throw this out here. Uh, we have another experiment demonstrating a Backdraft. So I've got everything I need. I'm gonna set these experiments up and I'm just gonna show you that there is true science behind smoke will burn, and fire will pull water up into a cup. And I'll show you what uh, fire will actually draw water. And that's it trying to suck for air. So it'll suck the water up into the cup. I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm talking about here in a minute. It's a couple cool experiments. I don't want you to try them at home just because you are playing with fire. I have a fire extinguisher ready. I've got uh, water hose pulled and ready to go in case something would happen, which it's just a regular candle like you burn in the house. So, I mean, and I've got a saucer full of water. There's nothing that can go wrong with it, but I would rather you not do it, okay? So, just stay tuned. Uh, we, got, we got just a regular candle. I'm not going to try to Houdini or here or nothing. I just blow it out, light the smoke. And that's it. I'm gonna try one more time to get it a little bit better for you because it kind of looked like I may have hit the wick, but I did not. I was probably an inch off the wick, if not a little bit more. So I'm gonna do it one more time to show you. Ow. So that right there shows you. I'm gonna take the candle and I'm gonna set it in this right here. All that is is water and food coloring. That way I can make sure that you see the, the uh, cup actually draw that water up into it as the fire deprives itself of oxygen. That's what happens in a backdraft. The fire is snuffed out, okay? You've went to work, you're coming home, you see something funny. You see a lot of smoke in your house and everything. First thing you're going to want to do is open the door up and try to doggone see what's going on. Well, guess what? You just initiated an explosion due to the fact that you put oxygen into that fire, which made it just rip through your entire house. Now, guess what? The fireman is 
way behind now. Because you've just given that fire oxygen to burn again. It may have already been almost out to where if you would have just seen it and just called, then maybe we could have saved your house. Um, I don't know if any of you is kind of familiar with any of uh, anything wherever it comes to emergency services. You make the phone call to 911. 911 has to get a hold of us. We're not paid firemen. We're volunteer firemen. My response time the other night for a structure fire, I was out with my little girl. I was at least 45 minutes to 50 minutes away from the fire. Yes, you had crews coming. Yes, you had people on scene before I was, but that just comes to show you that sometimes the response times can be as high as 20 minutes or so. Um, that's a common, that's kind of a common thing. We try to get out as quick as we can, but it all depends on dispatch. It all depends on what we're doing because we have lives ourselves. During the day, when everybody's at work, you're gonna be limited to what you can get. We're all volunteers. We do the best we can. We're out there risking our necks for nothing. So keep that in mind. But I'm gonna show you this other experiment and I hope that maybe this would have helped somebody. So okay, here we guys, go. I didn't do no measuring prior to that. Uh, the regular candle I had right there wouldn't fit in that. So I'm going to uh, go about this a different way. This won't be as dramatic but it'll put the candle out because it'll pull so much water so we've got it lit just bear with me here all right i'm gonna drop that down see it already bubbling it's already here it goes starting to pull the starting to pull the water up see it it's actually getting ready to put the candle out And the fire's out. That's it. I'm actually going to do a different one here in a second involving matches. And this one's going to get a little volatile. Uh, you're going to see this really pull a lot, I'm hoping. Okay, y'all. I got some regular matches here. I'm going to do another experiment with you. This one should give us a little bit of smoke. And you'll actually be able to see it kind of fight for oxygen. I'm going to light them and then we're going to cover them up with the same glass. Okay, glass is going on and you can already see it pulling. You can already see it pulling hard. It's so cool. Uh, got a little bit of smoke there in it. You can see it still yet drawing a little bit, trying to. You can see it bubbling, but it took every ounce just about of the water out of that and put it there. No water. Haha. So that's there to show you. You know, this is uh, this is just a little experiment. What you just witnessed, let me go through one more time what you witnessed. Whenever I put the cup over that, the fire is drawing for oxygen. So it's trying to suck as hard as it can suck. And you can see it's got a good bit of suck to pull that up into there. Now that was just a little fire. Think about a fire the size of your kitchen. And it's rocking. And it, it's smothered out. It's needing air. And as soon as you open that door, what it's going to happen? It's going to rip through there, and it's going it's going to really hurt you. That right there, I've not you know your your house is not completely airproof, so it's going to draw just enough air to keep it alive. But as soon as that door is open, you've just caused us to lose the fire. If you ever come home and you witness your house and it looks like it may be potentially backdrafted, don't second guess it. Call your local fire department. We'll come and we'll get it out for you pretty quick. Because what we do is we'll make an entry. And as soon as we make entry, we've got a hose line 
and we'll knock it off. If you go and do that, you're you know you're not under air. You're not you're not got protective gear on. You can get burnt. You can burn your lungs. You can burn a lot of things. And that's something that I don't want to see. So until next time, stay tuned. Keep it uh, keep an eye open for some more of my videos. If you like them, please put a uh, like. Click that like button and hit that subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed to my channel. Uh, I'm gonna try to do more videos. And also, if you could uh, share these to your uh, to your social media, to your Facebook, Twitter, and all that. Get get other people watching these because that right there may save somebody's life. And that's what I'm really want to do. I want to help people. And I, I really hope that this is uh, educational to you. Stay tuned. I'm going to do another one on mapping out an escape plan for your family.